Okay, today I'll show you how to set up a GPS Ninja on the newer Android 12, 13, 14, and 15. Because GPS Ninja doesn't work most of the time. So first you have to install the GPS Ninja. I will provide the link on the description. And then, then you go here, settings, and make sure enable indirect mocking is disabled and leave everything as it is. Enable indirect mock mocking should be disabled. Once you do that, then you go and go to your Magisic Manager. I rename, but then you go to the module and then you go to the install storage. And I'll provide the link for this. And then you open the internal storage. You install these um, uh, Shimaku. Said done. Said okay. And it's gonna install. Da -da 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 -da. It's asked for reboot. And you say it said done, not failed. And then you go back, install the storage. Go back. Go back to internal. And then you install the. Alex post and you said done and you said okay and you're done and then you go to the play store no thanks you search for Alex POS post and you install the manager for the framework we just saw. Now you have to install the app. So use your file manager, go to the instant internal storage, choose all and then look for the file here. It's called hide more mock location. You say setting my file okay install and we are installing the hide said done it said okay and now we have to restart the tablet or cell phone so what we did basically we install these two modules the shamiko and the uh, and then and exposed then if you have any other module especially smelly patcher disable it don't remove just disable and now you have to restart your tablet or your phone so you restart your tablet or cell phone after installing these two modules and one app from the Play Store. So the app you install from the Play Store, you have to go and open that app. It's Alex Post. And once you open it, it says Parasitic Manager Command. So you said, okay. So what it basically saying that you drop down your uh, menu and then click on this one. Welcome, create the shortcut and you say, Okay, create the shortcut, add to the home screen, and it's creating the shortcuts on the home screen. So if you go to the home screen, click on the home, so you, t you see two of them. One with the little Android icon, and one is just the regular. So you just take the regular one, uninstall. So now you have the second one you just created it so now you have this one open this one and then you go to the module you click on hide module you say enable here and then you click on these three dots on the top right and then you click on hide and you uncheck hide games you say denialist 
and then you check system from, uh, framework, GPS joystick, and then Pokemon Go. That's what you have to check. Okay. And then you go out and if you go to your magic manager you should see these two modules Shamiko and Alex Exports enabled and if you have any other smelly patch or you disable it. And then you go to the Alex Post in the app which you just set up the icon on your desk uh, home page or home screen and then you go here and you go here hide you unhide the games hide others and then you have this also under the magic you go to the settings here and make sure the enforce denial list is disabled that's the only thing you have to do and now we got this setup part setup now we go to the settings then we scroll down we go to the locations and we go location services earthquake alerts okay we don't want it we go emergency location service we don't want it location accuracy we don't want it and timeline okay wi-fi scanning we don't want it bluetooth scanning we don't want it so we disable all of that and this is the phone we are setting up for the fake gps uh, location so that's not your personal phone it's just for uh, for the gaming so once we have these done and we already have gps Make sure you use last location and make sure you use settings and disable this. So now when you start, sometime depend on the tablet or cell phone, it will ask for a lot of permission. You enable all of them all the time. And sometime it will ask for the mock, uh, mock location required. So you said, okay, go to the settings. It will go to under developer options. And normally the mark location is all the way on the bottom you say okay you said okay and then you go here and now see so we got everything almost set up so we open the GPS use last location we click on start car starting you go to the map and we are by the Fisherman Wharf on San Francisco. And now we start Pokemon Go. So let's do the update. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so we got an update done for the Pokemon Go. Let's open the Pokemon Go app after the update and let's see what happens. It's taking some time to open the app. <laughs> Okay. Hey. 